Hi Aquarians, welcome to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love and Healing Tarot. It's our Angel Messages of the Week, January 13th. Hi! Anyway, so much is happening. You've got Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto in your sign, and now we are in the new moon of Capricorn, which is all about transformation and rebranding ourselves. And even though change is very, you know, um, hard, uh, we are going to um, do it, right? Right? Because that's how we grow. But before I begin, I always meditate on my channel um, for the week and for angel messages, I meditate with my angels and guides and whatever comes in is what I jot down and write and you know, I break open a sentence or a word can become a book. But anyway, uh, I did write it all down and I'd like to share it with you. It only take a minute and a half and it's very important that I, that I do this and again, Thank you for joining me again, um, for helping me build my channel, and all of you who have returned for the first time, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. And so I'm going to begin reading this, and also, if you anyone has ever had any experience with angels, spirit guides, something magical, mystical, miracles, please share it in the comments below. I don't care how long it is, I'd love to read it, and I'd love to share um, our own with each other so that it helps us grow and supports us right in our journey so here it goes real quick this is what Metatron had to say so the messages angel messages from Metatron for the new moon in Capricorn beloved ones the new moon is your time to manifest as the Sun is also ever shining feeding your life force go now beautiful souls you all play an important role in the healing and awakening of your planet your light is ever so needed here right now. Get ready for changes, which calls all to go within and meditate in your innate wisdom, acting with the honor of an angel. Ask for assistance and guidance of anything. Call upon the angels. Clarity and alignment with mind and open heart with great intent are our simple steps, are your simple steps to manifest. High frequencies of love and consciousness are the magic it calls for to invite them, and when the angels arrive, you will feel their presence of pure love. Be patient and be aware of the signs your angels answer in myriad forms. It may be simply words, a book, a movie, a song to write, hear, or sing. They will test you. So take time to rest and let go of anything that does not serve you. 2021 is the year of transformation for all upon the earth plane. Dream to allow the idea that the impossible is possible. Take a stand in your life, no matter what the opinions of others are. Stand firm for what you believe is right to live your life as you see best. Shine your rainbow rays of light. For new beginnings of love, creativity, and abundance awaits. Believe in your intuitiveness of what you feel and hear, and most of all, have faith. And know that you are creators of the highest, and you are all so loved. I leave you now in the light and love of many blessings, Metatron. Wow, it's very moving. And so I just want you to um, understand that the importance of my messages every week is, is something that is very important, not just for one person, but for everyone. And so please share your experiences as well. So today let's start our reading of the angel messages and let me move my mouse here because it's on the cheese break and it will eat my cards or this video. It has happened where things have happened. But anyway, um, so I'm going to um, start with the angels of Atlantis and see what angel is guiding Aquarius today in the messages of the angels for this week. Let's see what it is. What is going on? What angel wants to express themselves to us to guide our Aquarians? What is going on for our Aquarians? Okay. 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 It's Hanael, and it's called willpower. Do you see that? Willpower. Let's think about that, Aquarius. Willpower. We need willpower to be disciplined. We need willpower to move forward. We need willpower to con be consistent, right, in, in what we do each day in our life. So let's keep moving on with the cards and see what else is going on with the angel Haniel's message of willpower. So these are um, 
in the Magical Mystical Oracles, and I will pull one card for the bottom of, a, of this reading and see what it is that is added to this message of willpower. And it says here, invite serendipity. So, unicorn, invite serendipity. So, serendipity, you know, is about many things that things happen for a reason, right? And sometimes they just happen and we don't know, but it's, it was meant to happen. That serendipity, it's like, wow, that, I can't believe that happened. So that happens a lot in, in, in our lives. And so serendipity um, is evidently going on in your life, Aquarius. And maybe you're, you're not making sense of it or you, you're not understanding it on a, on a level that you're ready to, to see yet. So just have the willpower to just be still sometimes. We have to be still and wait, right, and be patient. So let's see what else is going on here. And right now I have the um, Divine Guidance cards, Oracle cards, and I'm going to pull three cards. And I'm, I will read um, some of the messages because I think it's very important that we get the gist of it, right? And, um, and that every word is important for the image that is present in the card. So here we go for our Aquarius. What are the Divine Guidance messages from the angel Haniel? Okay, so we have 24. Okay, and I'm going to read that for you. And it's going to be very, very, um, they're very simple messages and they're very, very um, sharp and, and, and precise. So that's why I love using these cards because it, it, it does mean a lot. So 24 is about the divine feminine. This card asks you to be, begin operating more from a feminine flow of energy. Whether you are male or female, it asks that you allow your power to flow from within instead of using force. Be mindful of using a gentle approach to people and situations. The role of nurturer and healers is important for you, and these gifts will blossom when you allow them to naturally emanate from you. Focus on your relationships with the people you interact with. You'll find the more that more will be accomplished while creating peace and harmony for all involved. Wow. So, the Divine Feminine is part of your willpower to really, really flow instead of using your f power to force, okay? So that was a very big, big message here for you. Okay, this is beautiful, beautiful card. 16, okay? So let's see what's going on for 16. You're on target. <laughs> Keep yourself focused on the outcome goal or result that you are aiming for right now. The card has come to you because you may be faltering or questioning yourself. Like I said, just let go of your doubts and fear, fears. Your life and your goals are right on target. Keep your intentions clear. Stay grounded in your heart and follow whatever intuitive nudging you may feel. Spirit is working with you on an energetic level to help you bring your dreams to fruition. So it's very much of Metatron's message, right? To keep the flow, to really, really stay grounded and, and really um, to manifest is to really not be forceful. Don't use your willpower to force, just allow. Okay, and one more card. Number eight. Now that looks like passion to me, doesn't it? <laughs> very, very beautiful, beautiful color. Let's see what, it, it also could be groundedness, what power, you know, it's a very powerful color. So this card, number eight, is about balance. Life is all about balance, and this card is here to help you create more balance in all aspects of your life, work and play, relationship time and alone time, social time and quiet meditation, physical activity and rest, giving and receiving, feminine energy and masculine energy. Wow, that was a big sentence. <laughs> okay. Um, balancing out each aspect of your life will enable you to give your energy to the world in a much more grounded and centered way. That's a lot going on for you, Aquarius. So stay grounded, use your feminine energy, allow the universe to work through you, and really, you are on target if you follow those energy, if you follow the flow, let it flow, let the feminine energy, don't use your willpower to force, really, really have willpower to flow, okay? So serendipity more serendipity will happen so you are on target and i believe that serendipity and on target is is relational you know is related to each other so let's see what the tarot has to say um, on a, a deeper level of what's going on with the divine feminine 
being on target and balance the balance in your life that's very important okay so let's see and again don't forget to comment subscribe share like and leave any wonderful um, experiences that you've had with spirit angels uh, magical mystical whatever short long it doesn't matter I would love to hear them okay so let's see Oops. get in there if I see the cards flip over I don't like to take them if they are face down you know I'll take them if there's not ten of them but anyway here we go Whoops, so they will take that one okay so this will be our first card here we make the you know north south east and west so that's west this is this was north west south east this is the heart okay there we go So, our first card here, wow, is the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is about beautiful, beautiful love, bliss, really, really the highest love that anyone could ever want. It's, it's all about compassion. Look how beautiful that is, a cup full of love and, and beautiful rainbow light over it. So you are on target, all right? So you are on target for, for, for something that is very, very... Um, in your life already but just just be more in the flow be in balance let things flow you are on target this looks like um, more about relationship right now to me from what I see here okay so let's see here the nine of Pentacles you are definitely working towards your independence okay you have um, accumulated a, a lot of prosperity for yourself and not only prosperity and money but but stability, uh, that's, that's something that is calling for here, more stability. So through this uh, process of flow, you'll have love. If you keep the balance and the divine feminine flowing, um, stability in, in all your relationships, okay? Whether they're you know, intimate relationships or other relationships as mentioned in the um, card of balance here. Everything will balance out in your life. Then we have the Seven of Swords. So, yeah, look for the higher way of thinking. The Seven of Swords is about shortcuts. It's about de deception. And you're only deceiving yourself when you're not in your truth. So whenever you are communicating or working through something, go to the higher mind, okay? Go to the higher place to resolve anything and to stay in balance so that this Ace of Cups doesn't dissolve, okay? Because it's here. It's right in the heart. This is what you want, right? So it's through balance and to the line flow, you'll be right on target, okay? And, and you'll be stable. But make sure that you don't take shortcuts and shortchange yourself or others um, in what you give in expression, in what you're thinking. You know, be true, be true. And here's the Three of Cups. So there's definitely a, a, a celebration here of, of, of more than one person here, so perhaps you are definitely um, in, in, a, in a relationship that might require more than one person uh, or you are celebrating with lots of people here of three people in your life but I think that this has a lot to do with um, celebrating without any kind of um, deception okay don't deceive anybody about what you're celebrating and, and be honest okay be truthful and don't force yourself through a situation here that I see might be coming. Um, there's definitely a love that is going on, a, something that you want in your life, and it just is not coming through the way you want it. You have to let it flow, and, and don't deceive anyone. Really be honest and truthful, all right? This could be a third party that you're, uh, you know, that you're with, uh, or it just could be something that is coming <laughs> it could be coming and here's the four of wands so you have the ace of cup and four of wands so definitely for some of you you are celebrating something that you hopefully will have okay something that is in the works 
of a foundation that you'll be building with someone, love, commitment, you might be building a business, it could be some kind of um, community, something that you will love very much, okay? And it requires more than one person here. And it requires a, a group of people who are like-minded, okay, to create something that is very beautiful and that is celebrated by everyone, okay? So this is what I see for a lot of you. And for some of you, it could be just a relationship that you need to um, be really, really more clear about what you want to build with this person or more than one person. And it could be family. It could be family too. So this card here is a warning to me about um, really, really using your higher mind to, to resolve and to stay in balance. So now let's see what the final card is for the sacred destiny of Aquarius. So there's a few little stories here. Definitely something going on with a community of people, friends, family, building something that you both, all of you will love, or it's something of a relationship that requires you to be really, really truthful. If you're deceiving yourself, you're deceiving others, and there could be a third party situation here. So balance is required here. You know, definitely balance and stability. If you want to have the love that you're looking for. Okay, so what is the final message for Aquarius in these angel messages for the week? Focus. So focus on the higher mind, okay? Be in alignment with your heart and mind. Balance, right? using the divine feminine okay to allow the flow of the universe to bring you that love to bring you that love and stay true to yourself stay true to yourself stay true to yourself no shortcuts no deceiving anyone that you are in part in a partner with partnership with or intimate with or going to into partnership with okay because you all are building something here it could be relationships it could be uh, community um, group of, you know, could be a group of people creating a business, all right? So all the pieces are here. Just follow your heart and stay in alignment. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I did. Stay tuned and please leave a comment below. Share, like, subscribe for all those who are here for the first time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.